the worst thing that can happen, you have to be ready for. We're a prime target for all the terror threats you can think of. Could you really afford the possible outcome if something was to go wrong and you didn't manage it properly? We must be as prepared as possible if there is an unfortunate incident. It's down to us to ensure that we identify the threats and risks as they come through our doors. The security control room is the glue that holds every aspect of our security focus together. We would be the ones responsible for tasking the emergency services, informing senior management, getting security officers coordinated to respond to that incident. I don't think anyone is as prepared as they perhaps think they are. The only thing that's going to prepare you for that ultimately is training. The UK remains a target for terrorist attacks. An effective security control room has the power to save lives. And it's clear from previous incidents that more needs to be done to prepare security control rooms to deal with terrorist attacks from a command and control perspective. NPSA has designed a course aimed at responding to terrorist incidents for security control room operators. NPSA operators course aims are to assist dealing with a terrorist incident by understanding attack timelines, preparedness, detecting an attack, command and control. After the five-day course, attendees will be able to deal with a terrorist incident by understanding incident management and response, tasks and priorities, effective working within SCR, decision-making, contacting and working with police, tracking and announcements. This is one of the first that's been specifically designed for CCTV operators. The course was to take us through every aspect of what a controller within the control room needs to implement. There isn't anything that I'm aware of that can be compared to this training. It was one of the best courses that I've genuinely ever attended. The presenters are brilliant. They've all got real experience and they're building you up towards the immersive exercises. Grab a seat. You are SCR operators at Royal City Airport. It's like nothing I've ever done before. They set up a control room. They make it as real as they can. It's fantastic. You're staring at screens and you're waiting for hopefully nothing, but a terrorist event will come and it's how you react to that. It felt real. When that moment hits, you get that surge of adrenaline, palms sweaty, mouth goes dry, heart starts racing a little bit. This prepares you to instantly go up to 200 miles an hour and then sustain that pace throughout an instant and beyond it. The biggest thing you take away from the course is sort of like a mindset. If a terrorist attack happened, I'd be much better prepared. We've started to replicate some of the learning points straight after that course. Anyone visiting our venue now should feel reassured that our operators have seen what could happen and how to respond. It's absolutely sensational when it comes to training. Your guys will come back so much better prepared for the worst day and better prepared for every day.